All right, this is gonna be a quick video on how to recover your WRT32X Linksys router. Uh, this will apply to pretty much any WRT router, but mine in particular is WRT32X. And it took me a little bit to figure out some of the nuances like the serial cable, uh, which you kind of have to move around so that the ground temporarily disconnects and then reconnects in order to get into the Venom uh, command line which is the recovery mode for this router. Uh, also, some weirdness I've seen compared to other WRT routers is normally the power light will be flashing like this with the serial cable connected. However, if I reboot the router, you'll see that the power light does not flash, but just the uh, link light for Ethernet 1 flashes. Now, in order to successfully recover uh, this WRT 32X, uh, what you're going to have to do is connect first an Ethernet cable to port 1, and then come over here on the computer and configure wherever that Ethernet cable goes to. You're going to want to configure it. Go in here, IP version 4, and I just set mine to 192.168.11, and then just a standard Class C subnet. And you can leave the gateway whatever you want. You can leave it blank. I just put in uh, 1254 because that's typically uh, the way I set up my networks. Okay. Now, I've also uh, already pretty much written down the commands. These will be down in the description so you don't have to type anything. You can literally just copy-paste them. And I've also, you're going to need a TFTP server. And right now that's set up on the Ethernet 1, just like what you saw above. And you're also going to need uh, putty. At least that's what I'm using. And a serial cable. Now I recommend getting the one, the exact one, the description if you're going to do this. Because I've tried some of the cheaper cables and they just do not work. Or they have some weird intermittent errors where all of a sudden you know it'll be reading from your router perfectly fine and then all of a sudden we'll stop so uh first thing that we're going to do is we're going to turn the router off and before we actually turn it back on i'll give you the pin out so from left to right it's going to be pin one is going to be ground pin two is going to be for sending from the router to the computer which is going to be white and then green is going to be on pin four and that is going to be for transmitting from the computer to the router any commands you want. So what you're going to want to do is very quickly turn on the router and then much shortly after you want to jiggle that connector so that the ground temporarily disconnects on these WRT32Xs. So pretty much just come over here, just kind of jiggle the wires around. And if done successfully, you should be able to come over here. And yeah, I might have missed that one. But you should pretty much see the power light flashing and the Ethernet light flashing. So try that again. Yeah, sometimes I'm a little too fast when I do this. There we go. Just like you saw, I jiggled the cable a little bit, and all of a sudden, the Venom prompt shows up. Now, as soon as you see that, verify that you've got link light on Ethernet port 1. Don't plug this into your WAN port because it's not going to work. You want to have this plugged into Ethernet port 1. And then all you have to do, come over here, copy these commands. All right, now I named my image WRT32X.IMG just to make it easier to reference. So we'll paste that in. And this is going to flash both partitions of your router because these routers are nearly impossible to brick unless you brick one of them. 
Um, I did this because I was messing around with both the backup and the primary partition and was unable to recover successfully. And now we're in the situation we're in. Uh, so this command right here, which is going to be run update both images, is going to flash both uh, partitions of the flash so that you have a fallback and a current rev for uh, your boot, basically the image that it's using. That way, you know, you can go in and modify one of them, like I typically run DWRT on one and then the stock firmware on the other, just in case I end up breaking something on DWRT and some of the weird uh, wireless instability issues. So. Now we wait. And you come over here, take a look at your TFTP server. Uh, okay, I'm seeing error. If I had to guess, it's probably going to be the uh, the Windows firewall. So I'm going to have to turn that off. Oh, actually. All right. So one note, you're going to want to turn off your firewall, depending on what you have. Uh, I completely spaced on that, so definitely make sure you turn off your firewall. You got to choose your favorite. 